And it's 54 years since Cardiff City met Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup to celebrate a crowd of around 30,000 at Ninian Park, the best of the season. For Cardiff City, their new signing, Robin Friday, is cup-tied, so Friday, who scored twice on his debut against Fulham last week, is replaced by 20-year-old David Giles, wearing number 11 and playing his first full game of the season. And so it's Cardiff City in the dark blue strip, attacking the goal to the right, who kick off. 50 years ago it is since Cardiff City won the FA Cup, the only side to have taken the FA Cup out of England. Tottenham playing all in yellow. And so Cardiff City now. A neat chip finding Tony Evans. Terry Naylor, number two. That was Giles. That's Evans. Broken up by Keith Osgood. Keith. That's Coates. Oh, no, a good ball, and a good chance, and a great goal! Peter Sayer, number 10, the scorer. And Cardiff have taken the lead, which illustrated how easy it is to break the Tottenham defence. A beautiful ball through by Tony Evans and Peter Sayer, number 10, makes it one goal to nil for Cardiff. He's a former coach at Tottenham. Evans moving well. He's got Osgood with him, number six. And that part of pressure always seems to tell. Tottenham now moving the ball out of the uh, their own half. Nice turn by Perriman. Good tackle by Buchanan. Buchanan taken down by Perriman. And this is now blowing up somewhat. Buchanan and Perriman, the two men involved in that. Buchanan, who was taken down. And Steve Perriman, his name going into the book. This is Gorman. Gorman again. And Osgood trying to find Dan. Uh, almost got through. Phil Dwyer with the interception. Gorman came away from being held by Buchanan. Instruction by number seven, Steve Grapes, and an indirect free kick for Tottenham Hotspur. Huddle, and Osgood moving around the area first. Comes to Osgood. Away by Dwyer. And again, Healy, well taken. The ball's run loose. And off went. A corner, what a let-off for Cardiff. Went turned it away with the goalkeeper out of his net. Healy lost that ball, I don't know how he lost it, but it came out and the blaster went off, went for this corner. Taylor with the corner. Healy's lost it again, Coates over the top. Ron Healy made two attempts and he lost the ball on one and missed it completely on the other and those could have been tragic. Now it's Keith Osgood and Spurs really exerting the pressure in these last ten minutes of the first half. Naylor to Gorman. 
Tony Evans with him. This is Coates. Paced by Buchanan. Huddle gets through. Huddle again. Huddle only just outside. Very good try by Glenn Huddle. Drifted through and flicked it with his left foot just wide and high of the far side of the goal. Healy headed on by Tony Evans. John Pratt with a throw. Back to Keith Osgood. That by Albert Lama to Hoddle, though, for Tottenham. Got his throw, and Brian Attlee going to take it. Yeah. Passed it to David Giles. Tony Evans. Neat. Very neat. Evans got the return ball. Evans still going. Evans with a shot. And it almost got past Jennings. Tony Evans can be so dangerous. Coates. Coates again. Alfie Kahn to Perryman. Hoddle. Tottenham passed too many times then and were forced away from one wing to the other. Neat turn by Taylor. Corner. Taylor with a cross. In the time for stoppages in this first half. Naylor coming in, away by Dwyer. Huddle. That's Gorman to Coates. Corner. Another corner. And that's the whistle for half-time, with Cardiff City leading by one goal to nil. The scorer after six minutes was Peter Sayer, who came, got a good pass and beat Pat Jennings quite handsomely. Tony Evans, number nine, has been a constant threat to that Tottenham defence, while at the other end, Paul Wint, number five, has really held John Duncan in check. So it's Tottenham Hotspur here at Ninian Park who kick off in the second half trailing by that one goal scored by Peter Sayer after only six minutes and Tottenham who in the latter stages of that first half were starting to look most effective will now have to keep up that work if they're going to get back. Giles, number 11 to Livermore. Tony Evans have run wide but they're taken by Coates to Perryman. Intercepted by Attlee. Steve Grapes looking for Evans, who reckons he was obstructed. Attlee to Giles. Livermore. That would have been offside if it had got through. Taylor, good tackle by Adney. Perryman to Conn. John Pratt. Again, Duncan calling for it on the far side of the box, but he won't get through. Went, just nonchalantly flicking it back, and again, Cardiff, wait. Perryman. Perryman again. Well taken by Atley. And this time it's Sayer. He's got Evans. He's got Grapes. There's Grapes. Grapes with a shot. Oh, the hands of Jennings. That ball just stuck in those very, very safe hands. Good try by Grapes, but Jennings held it beautifully. Lama 
Hitting it for Giles. Dan Cardiff dribbling their way out of trouble and passing. Must be a handball. And there's a substitution by Tottenham. Ralph Coates has gone off. And Don McAllister has come on. Sayer is not quite able to reach it. That's Con. The Tottenham are going to have to move out fast. Gorman. That's Sayer. Looking for Evans, and he's found him. Evans again. But Naylor calmly back to Jennings. Back again, come Tottenham. Perriman to Taylor. Taylor shot, and that almost had Healy going the wrong way. He changed his mind and managed to grab it under him. Peter Taylor's shot might well have sneaked through. by Gorman. That's Taylor. Taylor through. And Brian Attlee blasting it away. Peter Taylor was forcing his way through there, but the man in the centre of the picture, number three, Brian Attlee, has been having a great game. Con. Great cross and well taken by him. Free kick. Healy had it before challenged by McAllister. That's what these Cardiff City fans think about the game at the moment. Throw to Tottenham. Cardiff still apparently happy to wait and play on the brakes. Taylor. Free kick. Perriman going to take it. They're all lining up on the far side of the box. Two Tottenham players and another. And it almost went in. He must have hit the post and rebounded off Healy. What a remarkable let off. Absolutely remarkable. The overhead kick by Taylor appeared to hit the far post, come back and hit the goalkeeper. The referee has given a free kick. There's a lot of strength in that kick. One minute to go of playing time. Plus any time added on for stoppages. Throw into Cardiff City and Millennium Park is re-echoing to the roars of this crowd. to Gorman Alfie Kahn Huddle flicking it through away by Livermore back again by Pratt the shot blocked again and again and that's Kahn it's a corner Paul Went showing signs of the strain but getting up, and could this be the last corner of the match? The tension really building up. The whistle has blown, and Cardiff City have knocked Tottenham Hotspur out of the FA Cup. In their first four meetings, this is the first time that Cardiff have beaten Tottenham in the FA Cup. The man who scored the goal was number 10, Peter Sayer, after only six minutes of the match. After that, a great, great victory by Cardiff City. The crowd rise to Cardiff City, and the players rise to the crowd.